In this video, we're going to focus on how we can give our background color a different way of coloring. Normally, you would be able to put in just an array with all these hard-coded values in here. What we're going to do is you now say a different way, look through it, and then we're going to put a color based on the condition. It will be red if it's a default value, and it will be green if it matches the condition. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to change the color of the bars in a bar chart based on the index number in chart.js. So let's start and explore how to do this. So first of all, this question came from one of my other videos about how to assign colors in the line chart based on the values, which is an absolutely interesting topic. Then if I scroll down here, you can see this question came from Sergio uh, Sergio MNG, so a special thank you to Sergio for asking the question, and this is what Sergio asked. Thank you for the video. Could you tell me how do I change the color of some specific segments? I mean, regardless of the value, let's say I need to change the color of the last three segments. So I believe it's easier than this, but I haven't been able to figure out. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one for the bar chart, because that's very important. And then I'll make a separate video for the line chart because for the line chart it's slightly more tricky. But I'm going to show you in this video why it is tricky. So, first of all, what we need to do is we need to go to chartjs3.com, getting started. And then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to grab here the default code. So I'm going to copy this chunk of code here. Once you grab this code, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure to watch this video here. So, what I'm going to do in here, paste that. Once I paste in that, I will paste it in here. I will cut out the title, I'll just put it in there. All right. And then once I got that, save this, refresh. So now we have a bar chart. And basically, quite simple is the easiest way to do coloring in the bar chart is basically with this here. Of course, I don't like this so much. And the reason why I don't like this because this is really hard code. For example, like what Sorger was asking, what if you would have the last three items? And those three items need to be colored a specific color. All right, so that's what we're going to do here now. So what I'm going to do, and this is a very simple trick, but it will only work for, for pi, or basically for everything except for the line chart. So what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to just delete all of this here. Then in here, in the border color, I'm going to create basically a callback function. Because remember, in chart.js, you're allowed to put in functions if they are indicated as scriptable. So border color and background color are scriptable items, the same with if I'm not mistaken, the data as well. So what we're going to do here is just going to put in a script. And this is what we're going to indicate here. Very, very simple. We're going to make a uh, function, because this is basically a callback function, which will be based on a condition. And this will be the following like if statement, say let colors if, and what we want to do here, is the following. What I want to do maybe first is to make sure you see this here. So let's do a console log for that so you can see what we are able to see here. Save that. Refresh. Open up developer tab and let's see what's going on. All right, we get an error here because we forgot a comma here. Save that. Again, refresh. There you are. So now it's black. That's fine because we didn't indicate anything, but we have some information here. You can see here the data index, and that's basically what you want to know, or the index number. So if you want to highlight only the last three values, you could do it here based on this condition here. Very straightforward. We're going to say your color, then we can say your if statement, then we can say your if colors equals color dot, and we can say dot index, which would be larger than, uh, well, if you want halfway, let's say, after Thursday, everything should be a different color. So what we could do is, for example, green. So we say if it's larger than index number, what is uh, it? will be Friday, or if it's larger than Thursday. So if I, you can see if we hover over it, we will see we get here the item. This is index number three, which is correct because this is zero, one, two, three. So everything larger than three should have, in this case, a specific color. So what I'm going to do here is it will be green. So I'm going to grab this green color here. I'll set it in green. And else, if that's not the case, I want the default color of red. So we're going to put it in there, semicolon. All right. So now we have this here. And then, of course, what we need to do is to return. 
So we'll look through every item here based on this condition and then it will return the matching value. So we say return and to so say here return the colors value. If I save this now and refresh you have here I am not able to say if you're able to see it and because it's the transparency here. So what I'm going to do here I'm going to make it solid. There as well, save that and refresh. There you are. All right, so now we have this. What I want to do is just dip, duplicate this. You can duplicate this here, put it in here, and then just change this name into border colors, but now background color. All right, so the background color, and this can be all same. And the reason why this is allowed to be same is because we are still within what we call block scope. So these let's here, these variables will not interfere each other. Because it's in a block, and this is basically the block within this function here. We'll save that, refresh, there you are. So beautiful. So this works, and this is basically one of the ways. So let me show you here. If I do here pi, it will nicely work as well. There you are. Of course, the shape doesn't look everything uh, perfect, but that's all right. I will ignore that one because we need to do then some adjustments. But you will see here with the line, and this is the issue here with the line. If I save this here, refresh. We get this here, and this is only pinpointing the dots. So would, if I would do here the line, let's say border with three, and then I say fill, and fill we set on true, and I save this, refresh, we can see this will not work. All right, so for that I need a separate video because we're going to work with a different structure here. However, basically for everything else except for the line chart, this is possible. So you can see this works here nicely. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to make it even more fancy, I have another video here which is about charging as background color animations, which is absolutely exciting because you can see here it starts to create all kind of nice effects here. Another item that is also interesting which you can find here, the, uh, the link will pop up right now as well on screen.